Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, I've been working on this low sidewall greenhouse, and I wanted to stop because I really wanted to bring you along onto this destiny here of this low sidewall greenhouse, which actually I'm going to have the roll up sides. Now, at the beginning, I did hire some people to do this project because I was working on another project, but it didn't work out. And I'm glad it didn't work out because the way they was doing it was wrong. And uh, as I looked at one of the videos I took of them doing it, when I sat back and watched the video, I instantly saw what was wrong. And uh, as I was repairing, I saw some other things that was wrong. So actually, this greenhouse probably would have been finished by now. But when you got to go back and redo somebody else's work, sometimes it takes you longer. But nevertheless, all is well. I am working on this greenhouse. Now, I did pull in John from John's Carpentry. He helped me a little bit on this greenhouse uh, on the side, on the end walls. He's, uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. But this is my own design here. And uh, I live on to the east coast where there is a, hur we live at hurricane zone. We live in a hurricane zone. And so I'm building this a different way because of that, because I don't want this low side wall tunnel is supposed to be go rolling somewhere. So I have made now am making it into a low side wall greenhouse. So let me take you up close and let you take a look at what's going on. Now, if I hadn't had to redo some things, actually the other side will be done, but it's kind of good. So you can kind of see how it, how it is now and on one side and how it is on the other side so maybe possibility you might like this structure because this gives it more durability stability on uh, long term you know usage out of this greenhouse i figured you know i plan on doing this so that if a hurricane does comes it might just blow the plastic away but the greenhouse will still be here so let me take you up close okay so one of the things that was definitely wrong is when I looked at it is that the guy had the sidewalls, the uh, hip board, way too low. So everything has been completely redone except that bottom board right there. And actually, he could have used one of the uh, one by tens by sixteens, but since you know, it kind of ended up wasting two boards there. But hey, you know, got to move on. So this is, and actually, I was going to have a uh, one by six six inches there in the, more, in the middle, or maybe one by five. I did, was not planning on having a uh, two by four, but you know, uh, boards are like gold right now, so you can't be wasting them. And so I just end up going uh, this direction anyhow, since the uh, boards had already been cut. So anyways, like I said, it been totally redone. And I like this, I like how this is. Now on the outside, once I get it painted, then I will be putting hardware wire uh, going all the way across to keep the, help keep the bugs out. We'll keep all of them out, but it will help keep them out and uh, other critters out of the greenhouse. So one of the things that you can see right here is definitely wrong is that the guy, I don't know what he was thinking, but he cut the, uh, the fabric here, and which is pretty expensive, you know, but he cut the fabric. And made four holes and there was no need to have four holes only two holes so uh, but anyways on this is the back side and I put these L brackets in there on all four corners that gives it more stability and so in each one I did it like that also down here at the bottom I went and put two of those clamps there So I also had to, you know, raise that hip board up, move those uh, two eyes um, brackets here, and um, change the redo the bottom. It was, and when I started putting these boards in, cut, trying to cut them, I everything is not. Um, you're supposed to have a certain distance between your poles, and you're going to have a certain distance going down. Well, actually, the front is lower than the next pole over. So when I was trying to cut these boards, I had to do every in one, every one individually. Now, if you take and you get your measurements right, then you don't have to cut every board individually. That takes a lot longer. If you got your measurements right, you just cut your, you know, you cut your 
your sideboards there and then they should be all the same length you just cut them out one time the middle board there which is gonna that uh, hardware wire is going to be stapled to that and say so it would make it a lot easier but since this greenhouse was just pretty much it looks like it you're supposed to square it off that's why I hired him I wanted it square I didn't want to you know it'd be all square and you know it, it, once you get it squared it, it, everything should flow it's just like a house but when I started cutting these boards nothing was square nothing everything was out of alignment and so I just totally had to redo this whole entire wall right here take it apart take it down put it put new boards up um, and then I cut my my two by fours to frame in for that hardware wire here um, me and John worked on this right here but John uh, did get this concrete in it took more I had concrete here didn't realize how much concrete it was going to take so unfortunately we didn't get that one now today I had planned on getting some concrete and going ahead and put the concrete in here I've got anchor bolts in there it's a rebar so I put it and it's it's going actually through the pole and over here it's going out the side it's going to help support that with the concrete so, like I said, I was going to get the concrete today, nice, beautiful weather today, and I was going to go ahead and go ahead and get this concrete in here so it can be cured, and I had to do some mowing today because it's that time of the year where weeds grow real fast. So, anyways, this is just about finished curing here where we can knock those boards away. Now, John, uh, well, I was working on that, that wall over there, that side wall, um, he was putting these two poles up right here and uh, then he went and put the concrete in while I was working on this side here because it just took me so much longer because nothing was um, the measure every measurement was just wrong uh, can I say it like that it, every you know trying to cut the board every section was not the same it just because the poles was not put in like they were supposed to be you, you can stand it from a distance you can kind of tell it because on this side yeah I believe it's yeah that side is higher than this side and it shouldn't be so anyways just glad they're gone because it, it just I told them I said you got one opportunity to do this there is no going back so anyways it leave I just believe it just worked out like it's supposed to be anyhow so I am out here working on this originally I was going to do this greenhouse myself and uh my mother, I was taking care of my mother, and she passed away, and I just really couldn't get, I had so much going on, I just couldn't do it. I th was just, yeah, I thought I'd hire somebody, but anyways. Um, so here you see onto the side, and this is how it looks at now, and then I'll go back in and frame it in, just like the other side. On this end, right here there it'll be done just like the end I just showed you John will me and John or I will or you know it just depends on how it goes either I will or me and John or you know John will so anyways those two boards those four by fours down there four by fours by tens there will be two more But right there and there will be a screen door at the very end down here and also one down here now the plan is which that's why I wanted to go ahead and get that concrete in so it could be curing the next step is I'm just gonna put a piece of plywood it's gonna go up it's going to go, well, it's going to go from here across. It's going to go from, from there and just go across. We're going to frame that in, which is very simple. Once that concrete cures, it's going to be, uh, that, that's going to really not take any time. And then we're going to put that door up right there. That, uh, that, that screen door is a storm door is what it is. Not screen door, storm door. 
and up there I'm going to have a fan which I already have is an electric fan it has uh, automatic it opens up at a temperature and I'm going to have the very same thing at the other end and then after that we'll be putting this plastic on and um, then also putting some rope on it putting the straps on it put the plastic on put the straps on it and putting some the um, the uh, there's a cover that helps keep the sun out and uh, so I'll put that on and, and some rope over that to help hold it down and anchor it down somehow Way or another which you know I'll show you that in an upcoming video so guys I just thank you so much for watching and please hit that like button if you haven't already and subscribe so you'll know when I am loading up a next video well, guys I'm so excited I once I just started I just dove into this made up my mind I said you know if I have to do it by myself I plan on it anyhow I can do this so I just want to let you know you can do this also um, I'm really excited about this and one other thing I plan on putting raised beds in there I'm not going to be going up against that sidewall I'm going to come off a little bit maybe about a foot um, because I don't want to block off the ventilation of the airflow going in there so I'm going to have some raised beds on that side and raised beds on this side and and probably one into the middle more than likely into the middle as many raised beds as I can get in there so this is going to be really wonderful because we're living in a time that it's hard to you know where the weather is we've got a, possibly another freeze coming in it's starting to turn chilly now and um yeah the weather's crazy and actually i think it's tomorrow is it tomorrow or the next day i think it's ne the next day not tomorrow but the next day we will be in the 80s and drop down to 40 some no 39 so that's how crazy it is here and it's hard for the food to know or the food your plants to know which will be your food uh, to know what to do. It's got them so confused. They don't want to do anything. They start to grow, take off, and then they quit and they just they start, you know, they start dying because they's like, they're so confused. So this is uh, my purpose, a reason of having a low side wall greenhouse and with the roll up side so I can grow my own food and be able to help control the temperature a lot better than what's happening into the earth right now. Okay, guys, thank you so much. This is Cami at Never Alone homestead. Make it a great day. God bless you.
Jesus.